I guess some of y'all are complaining about how I don't have a, you know, camera running that, you know, takes video and audio. And, um, for all my videos, almost all my videos, all I have is a static picture of a football that just shows while my audio plays. And, you know, it's a drag. I agree with you guys. I want to get a webcam. I'm, I'm still trying to get one, and as soon as I do, you'll be, uh, seen hopefully a much more interesting picture than what I have right now but uh, it's unfortunate but <clears throat> it takes a lot of work for me to like sync up different pictures to what I'm saying and to sync up video clips to what I'm saying well that's even harder so you know I'm a pretty busy person if I do say so myself and I just don't like to take time out to do that because it's not really worth it but uh, hopefully I can get a webcam soon. Soon, that'll make things, you know, considerably easier. Uh, so just hold on, everyone. Uh, I'm working on that. Um, okay. I got like a suggestion from one guy who asked for me to do basically like the best tandems in the league. Now I did this a couple of times, but. Other times I would forget because I'm in such a hurry when I make the videos. So, like, groupings of players. Okay, well, as for the positions that actually, you know, groupings are actually relevant. Like, running back, you know, immediately you got to think of San Diego. They've got Tomlinson and Turner and Darren Sproles if he comes back from that injury. More of a return guy, but he can tow the rock. So, you know, definitely um, San Diego's right up there. Um, yeah, um, as for, like, wide receiver, that's, of course, another position where you need depth. That is, you're going to have two to three on the field at all times, pretty much. Um, to me, the best um, tandem of receivers in the league has got to be Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in Indianapolis. Um, you know, they complement each other well, they know their offense so well, it's really good stuff, really nice core of receivers there, but as for an entire tandem, that is the one, the two, the three, the four, um, I would probably have to go with Arizona, they got Youth, Fitz, and Bolden, and Brian Johnson, all these guys have been drafted in the la since 2003, uh, they're all Pro Bowl caliber talents. Well, Johnson, I guess we don't really know yet. He's playing in the slot. And, you know, he's he was taken high in the draft and then never really panned out, but we'll see what he has to offer us. Uh, I like that tandem a lot. You also can't forget uh, Cincinnati. They have three number one wideouts down there as far as I'm concerned, and Chad Johnson and TJ Hoosman Zada and Chris Henry. But I will take Arizona. Uh, best offensive line as a whole. I think right now it's got to be... I think I'm going to go with San Diego. You got Marcus McNeil. I think he's going to grow into a Pro Bowl slash Hall of Fame type player. Uh, Chris Dealman. Bunch of great players down there. Very nice and big. Helps protect Phillip. Um, and open up holes for that beastly running game. And, uh, I don't know about tight end tandems. I don't know very many backup tight ends in the league, but off the top of my head, Baltimore's got a nice set. You got, uh, Wilcox backing up Todd Heap. That's pretty good right there. Um, defensive line. The best defensive line in the league for me, you know, again, I come back to Baltimore. I can't help but think about Baltimore, Haloti Nagata, uh, Trevor Price, Terrell Suggs, and uh, Kelly Gregg. Um, you know, um, yeah, so they would definitely be a candidate. I think the Giants have a pretty underrated defensive line as well. Um, you know, like linebacker corps, among my favorites. Well, my favorite... You know, it's tough right now because Baltimore just lost Adelius Thomas. They would have been the easy pick before that, but now 
what I think best linebackers in the league. San Diego just lost, lost Donnie Edwards, so maybe not them. Denver just lost Al Wilson. Uh, Pittsburgh just lost Joey Porter. So it's kind of a tough choice. But um, I admit, I really like the depth in Dallas. You got Demarcus Ware, Anthony Spencer, Aiken Adele, Brady James, Kevin Burnett, Bobby Carpenter, Junior Glimp. So that's a pretty good linebacker set if you want to reach back that back, back that far into the depth chart. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go with Dallas for now in terms of total depth. Uh, <clears throat> like... As for, like, cornerback tandems, it's I do think Denver will be the best very soon, but since Dre Bly hasn't actually played a snap as a Denver Bronco yet and hasn't had a good year in a little while, I'm going to hold off on that and go with Philadelphia. I think I've said this before, but I love the way Sheldon and Sheldon Brown and Lito Shepard complement each other, and they have such a swagger back there, you know. I like... Um, you know, I'm also a pretty big fan of what they got in, say, Jacksonville, Mathis and Williams. Um, well, I know these two guys are a little old, but I'll give them some credit real quick. Brian Kelly and Rondé Barber. They're a little old, but, you know, that's not bad. Two pro bowlers. Uh, Niamdi Asamunga. I don't know how you pronounce that. And Fabian Washington in Oakland. Tough to top that. If Asante Samuel comes back, he and Hobbs form a good tandem, but pound for pound, give me um, Lito and Sheldon. Safety tandem. Uh, best safety tandem in the league has got to be... Well, it was Troy Polamalu and Chris Hope. And then it was Brian Dawkins and Michael Lewis, but those tandems have been broken up. So right now, I think I'm going to go with Ed Reed and Dewan Laundry. I mean, they're both young. They both played at a very high level. You know, Reed's won Defensive Player of the Year. You all know what I think about Reed, but he's still a hell of a player. And you know what I think about Laundry. He's something else back there. Um, yeah. That's about all I can say about that. I don't really know much about, like... Well, I guess about cornerbacks, if you want to bring in, like, the nickelback situation of some teams. You know, once again, Philadelphia is always seems to have pretty good nickelbacks. Um, you know, I think Jacksonville, who they who do they have in the nickel right now? Ah, I can't remember. Well, actually, Washington has a good corner situation. Sean Springs, Carlos Rogers, and Fred Smoot. Yeah, but I'm just rambling on now, so... You know, best tandems, I th that's that's what I think, pretty much. So, there's that. There are some other suggestions as well. I'll get to that in a minute. 